Good morning, my peepers. Welcome to Shalene's Creativity Room. It is Saturday, January 27th. What's going on today? January 27th. There are no birthdays. <clears throat> Today's weather says right now that it is 38, feels like 36. Today is a high of 41 and a low of 34. Rain expected overnight. Cloudy skies with some morning fog. Winds light and variable. Humidity 88%. Sunset 5.17 p.m. Yes. Okay. Um... Today's National Day. Do, 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 do. It's Vietnam Peace Day and it's also the Holocaust Remembrance Day. Daily Wisdom quote Comfort is no test of truth. Truth is often far from being comfortable by Swami Vivekananda. <laughs> Let's say that fast. Okay, today's word of the day. <coughs> word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. Today's first word is... Sibilate. Sibilate. It's a verb. Utter with a hissing sound. In today's horoscope for Aries. Nightmares that come your way today are likely to cause you to wake up feeling extremely angry for no tangible reason. You might want to take a close look at your dreams and try to analyze them so that you'll learn the source of your ire and how best to expunge it. Disconcerting news about money is likely to prove groundless. So, don't fly off the handle and get all stressed out when you hear it. Okay. Let's see. Um, career. No, did we do career? Career for today. Your thinking may shock others and you may lose support from the very people that you need to make favor with. Keep in mind that not everyone agrees with your viewpoint. Others are extra conservative at this time, so act accordingly. Okay. Okay. How did we do yesterday? Yesterday was Friday. And we did watch GH. We watched two movies. Okay, so we watched Bambi. And Bambi 2. I never saw Bambi 2 before. So if you remember in Bambi, Bambi's mother was shot. His father shows up, says your mother's gone. And we don't really see his father again till the end when Bambi and the doe have a fawn. Well, there's two of them. So Bambi 2 takes off from when his mother is shot and his father's raising him because we never did find out you know they never did talk about that okay i listened to a podcast yesterday it was lore episode 21 adrift Okay, I finished a book. I did not like the book. 
I gave it two and a half stars. So I finished The Maidens by Alex, Alex, Alex Michael Latus. It was very slow and boring. It's a murder mystery. I didn't care who was killing anybody. And there was a twist at the end I did not see coming. Um, yeah. I stitched on Hade Astrology Cat. I got in 201 stitches. I stitched on Hade Stocking. I got in 48 stitches. Hade Rosie. I got in 195 because I was watching Bambi. So I had to stitch on that while watching Bambi. And I stitched on Nora Corbett. Mari. And I put in 837 stitches. And I watched Bambi 2 while stitching on that. Not, you know, I stitched on it all night, but I did watch Bambi 2. Um, that was for yesterday. <coughs> I did watch Reading with Pugs. She was showing, she was changing out the stickers on her Kindle. I watched Jen's World of Stitches, and I watched Be Becky's Madness for Craft, and it was her weekly vlog. So watched them. So we need to write on the project sheets that I stitched on them. And I won't be stitching on Mari again until next month. I have three quarters of it done. Now, if you remember at the beginning of this month, I had only done a quarter of it. That was it. Now I got three quarters of it done. Yeah. Doing really well. find Mari. So, it will be done by the end of March. It will, it will. Today, I'm not going to stitch on Mari, or tomorrow, I'm going to stitch on Knock Knock from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween 2011 issue. Um, maybe I can get that done this weekend. That would be really cool. That would be, that would be. I slept good last night. I went to bed around 1130 midnight. Right around between 11 and midnight I went to sleep. The dog slept all night. I woke up at 7 to go to the bathroom. I'm like, why don't you get up and go out? She didn't act like she had to go. I'm like, just go, because I'm not going to wait till I get back in the bed, and then you're going to want to go out. So um, I let her out, and I went back to bed and slept till 9 o'clock. So I'm like, okay. And that was it. Today I've got a vacuum this morning. I did do all the dishes yesterday. We had pizza last night. Today I have a beef shoulder roast. I think it's a shoulder or a butt roast that's going in the crock pot. Um, I don't know what I'm having with it yet. Yeah, probably rice. Um, 
Yeah, that's for dinner tonight. I'm going to vacuum. I need to clean off my PC desk because my IT guy is supposed to be coming Monday to get all my pictures and my PDFs off of that PC and get them on my laptop. Because my PC doesn't boot up for me, so he brings something with him. He did last time, and so he's going to do that for me um, Monday. Uh, yeah, so news breaks. And remember, tomorrow Sunday, there's no morning video. I take the day off. Genesee County, local history, the straight story of a crooked road. Lake Road tra traces the eastern border of the Triangle Tract in Genesee County. But if you have ever driven along Lake Road, you know that although the eastern border of the Triangle Tract is straight, the road is not. I don't know where that is. News break. General Hospital, when to expect Eden McCoy's return and who's going on leave next? So Eden McCoy plays Carly's daughter and um, yeah, she plays Jocelyn Jacks. Her mother passed away in November, I believe, so she's been out since then. So, barring any last-minute preemptions, Eden McCoy, better known to fans of Port Charles as Jocelyn Jacks, will be back next week on General Hospital. She will reappear February 1st. McCoy went on a brief sabbatical from the soap that earned her an Emmy December 15th for outstanding younger performers. Fans didn't realize she was going to take a break from the Sudser until they turned to the follow Monday to find newcomer in her place. In the meantime, another Port Charles denizen is taking a leave Nicholas Alexander Chavez, who plays Spencer Cassadine, will last appear January 31st on GH because he's working on season two of the Netflix anthology Monster. He and Cooper Koch are playing the Menendez brothers. So that's about it. The Bold and the Beautiful Star. I know, we're finding out about soap operas today. Don Diamond wants a love triangle between Bill, Poppy, and Katie. You know what? He used to be so hot when it first came on. I don't even know what he really looks like now. Yeah, he's still handsome. Uh, he has his alter ego, Bill Spencer, reconnecting with Poppy, a woman from his past. So, yeah, he's still nice looking. Okay. Johnny Wahlberger says he and Jenny McCarthy are not a Hollywood couple. If he is Danny Wahlberg, his marriage to Jenny McCarthy is all about their love for each other, not their fame. The Blue Buds actor and, the, and his The Mass Senior Judge wife may be well known in Hollywood, but Danny says they don't consider themselves a Hollywood couple. More news breaks. Uh, New York State tax, pa taxpayers may get this credit soon. The flood watches and warnings are still in place for many parts of New York State. The snow is melting fast and the rain is still falling. The January thaw sure has been a strong and quick one this year. However, 
There are some homeowners who are going to be drying out their belongings in basements after this round of storms. And there is one lawmaker who is trying to get those who need to install or need to repair a sump pump a tax credit. Hey, here we go, another news break. General Hospital actor Tyler Christopher's official cause of death. He suffocated to death from how his body was positioned while under the influence of alcohol. Okay. Arena Sabalenka beats Zen Quinwin 6-3, 6-2, the clinch back-to-back -back Australian Open titles. I cannot pronounce their names right. Girl 14, who was bullied, died by suicide, coroner rules. Maya Janin was found dead at her family home in Harrow, northwest London, on 12th March 2021, one day after asking her parents about moving school. You need to start listening to your children. Smackdown, WWE founder Vince McMahon accused of assault and trafficking. Wow. Wow. See, Gigi Hayded and Bradley Cooper confirm romance with Picture Perfect Outing. Okay. This cholesterol drug can bring kidney risk, study confirms. Well, I don't have to worry about it. It's ro rosuvastatin. I don't take any of the statins. Does Barbie need all the Oscars for feminism? No, it's just a movie. Several inches of snow possible this weekend in New York. There seems to be a storm brewing that is expected to move across downstate New York over the weekend and into early next week that could bring several inches of snow. The coastal storm will bring a mix of rain and snow and could end up producing more snow as we get closer to Monday. Yeah, I think that's New York City. Justin Timberlake is suiting up for his New World Tour, all the noteworthy details. Martin Scorsese shares how daughter Francesca got him to star in their viral TikToks. Will Smith's wife makes tragic announcement. Now what? I think she's a loony bin lately. Past few years? Popular Hollywood couple Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith recently had a disappointing start to the year following the loss of a beloved member of their family. The former celebrity couple are both grieving the death of their four-legged friend, Fane, who passed away on Tuesday, January 23rd. Legendary TV actor dead at 97. Who is it? Oh, it stopped loading. Come on, I hate when this happens. Bill Hayes, we already know this. Why are they telling us this now? He died a long time. He died like last week. Yeah, January 12th. He played in Days of Our Lives. That's an old news. Pro wrestling legend dead at 56. I think we already know this one too. <laughs> That's because it's... Uh, professional wrestler Harold Hogue, best known by his ring name, Ice Train, has died. He was 56. The cause of death has not been revealed.
New York dancer dies after eating mislabeled cookies that contained peanuts. Ooh, there's a lawsuit. A son of country music legend fighting for life after critical surgery. The family of the late legendary singer Loretta Lynn announced her son Ernest Ray Lynn had to undergo a critical surgery and is suffering from kidney failure. Police tell public to avoid unhelpful comments about newborn found alive inside shopping bag. Baby Elsa is currently safe and well as the search for her mother continues. Pastor, two sons die holding on to each other after he saves wife, other kids in house fire. His wife and six other kids are now without anything. Six children are mourning the death of their father, a pastor, and two of their siblings after a horrific house fire in Ohio this week. I can't find it. There it is. Jay Leno files he files for conservator conservatorship over wife after Alzheimer's diagnosis. That's sad. I think that's it. Got weather statements. That's it for today, my peepers. Yep. I will see you guys on Monday. You all have a great weekend. And I might see you somewhere around the weekend in Zooms. Who knows? Love you guys. Bye-bye.